guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we are continuing Sims 3 University Life with Rain Evans, of course. And um, I told you in the last episode that I had gotten that mod for story progression, and I think that I have figured out how to turn off the notifications. It took me a few searches on the internet to figure it out, but I think I gotta figure it out. I've not had any, any notifications for the last couple hours in game, not in real life. I've not been playing for a couple hours. Um, I was thinking today that this is a sorority, okay? And look how boring this place looks. It's ridiculous. Like downstairs you got this cute little bedroom, sure, but they have a workout room and then they've got all these books and this ugly furniture. They got a pretty cool TV, but there's like nothing in this house to do except for play on the computer. That's essentially everything that they have to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just go through and delete all of this ugly stuff and we are going to give them a kind of cool room in here because it's lame. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. It's pretty lame. Uh, so we're going to figure out what the heck we can get going on in here. Look at this big old TV. We can put this TV up on this wall. I know I literally just said all they have to do is play on the computer and watch TV, but this TV's cool. It's it's big, so it's it's good. Let's figure out, let's find some nice furniture. Is there such thing? <laughs> I don't have any furniture or custom content, so this is interesting. It, lo it looks like a dorm seat, but let's actually... Look at this. That's nice. That is very nice. Let's give them a cute little red one. I think that's a very nice couch. It's very, um, it's very young, you know? All the young kids are, are, wear, are wearing that, are using that couch. It's nice. Uh, compared to these that look like they belong in a 80-year-old's house. No offense if you like them, but I just don't feel like it fits in a sorority. Maybe they just used it because it's cheap furniture, but I feel like it just doesn't belong there. So we're just going to give them like as much stuff as I can fit in here. Is this a two-player? I can't tell. Um... Let's just put it in the middle there, just in case somebody can get on the other side to play, because I actually don't know. Uh, let's just give them a bunch of different arcade games. Can we put that up against the wall? Yes, we can. This is just going to be their fun room. They're going to be able to do everything in here. I don't know if this hooks up to the TV or not, but we're going to put that right there. Uh, let's, let's skip the music, just because of that stupid music bug that makes everything super freaking loud, and it's very annoying. Let's see, we have outdoor activities, but can we put them inside? Yes, we can. We're going to, this is kind of lame, but we are going to have them bob for apples as well, because I have never done that, so that's going to be fun. Can we put this inside? No, probably start Friday. Fighter. It'll start a fighter. It'll start a fire, most likely. So, let's get a snow cone stand going on in here, too. That sounds fun. Hey, look at this. An ice skating rink. Like, it is it is winter. Should we, like, get rid of something over here? See if we can get it to fit? Small. Yeah, let's get a small one. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this is something that I kind of don't miss. Can I flatten this land? I don't remember how. Um, let's see. Where is our little terrain tool? No, it's not that. Uh, terrain tool. Here we go. Uh, flatten? Is that what we want to do? Just... Ooh, that's... This has always been a bit awkward for me. I don't know how to do this, but I think that I just did it. So, let's find out if this little ice skating rink will fit on here now. Where is it? The small one, because I don't think the big one will fit. Let's turn that around, because I saw the little entrance there. Ooh, guys, we have an ice skating rink now. That's awesome. I wish that we don't have, like, slides to go into the pool, do we? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We, don't, we can't use the pool right now anyways. They'll probably freeze to death. So we actually did just add a keg and um, a hot tub. Yes, please. Why did we not already have a hot tub? Uh, where can we put it, though? I feel like this corner over here would be a good place for a hot tub. We don't need so many chairs. Let's put a hot tub over here, right? What is that right there? A bike rack? Nobody nobody in this house has a bike. So let's put this. Can we put it? I wish we could kind of... I don't know. It doesn't really match up with this, but it's fine right there. Nobody cares. I don't know why the fence looks different. Maybe that... Yeah, that's a gate right there. That's kind of weird. Weird place for a gate. Um, Let's see. 
We got rid of that bonfire we had, so let's just add another one in there because I really like bonfires. They're my favorite. Um, we don't have money for any of this fancy stuff, but those aren't fun anyway. So let's see what else we can get. Uh, TVs. We got a TV. We got all the video games that we can get, except for this. We didn't get this. I don't know actually if that connects to anything, but we'll just leave that right there on the floor. Um, what else can we get? Is that really everything? Outdoors, transportation, outdoor activities, kids stuff. Like, I really feel like none of these toys can be played with by adults. Uh, we got the computer's hobbies and skills. Here we go. There might be something in here that they could enjoy. Let's not get, um, <laughs> let's not get the instruments because I find those very annoying. Uh, sorry, I'm a party pooper, I guess. Um, I don't think we have enough room for that. Let's move this back a little, as close as we can to that, because every house needs a pool table. Am I right or am I right? Let's figure out how to fit this in here. Maybe if we put this over here in this corner, and can we just kind of move this back a little? Yeah, move that right there. And let's see, this has to fit somehow. Okay, um... That doesn't have to be in there. We can just put it in there, right? There we go. That looks fantastic. A brain enhancing machine. Like, while I feel like that's very interesting, that's not really something we would play. It's totally something we should play with. Let's put it in here somewhere. I want to see what it does. I've never bought this because I've always been so afraid that it would, like, kill my sim or something. But the thing is here is that... We could potentially use it on somebody else. So let's get rid of this ugly furniture over here. There's no point in having it there. I don't know why they had two plants right next to each other like that either. So let's just throw that in there just to see what we can do. Maybe they'll like autonomously do it to each other and like do weird things to each other. We are gonna find out. So um, that's what I just bought, right? Brain enhancing machine brain enhancing machine. So it's the second version of it. It's just more expensive, I guess. It's probably just a little bit safer or better or something. I don't know. So let's let's play with some of these new toys that we just got. We just really made the inside of our house so much better. Like now we don't even have to say, oh man, it's so cold outside. We can't go have fun, you know? Now we're just be like, hey guys, come hang out at our house. We're going to have a party up in here and we're going to play pool. Don't, you can't play in the pool, but you can play pool. See? Good, good, good. So check out the new object. Object, no. Don't go in here and start checking out all the objects, guys. Just go have fun with it. Go go play some stuff. Let's bob for apples. I've never done that before. Uh, enter apple bobbing contest. So it's a contest. Okay, well, we're going to be in this contest, even if nobody else joins us. We're going to do it ourselves. I don't know why somebody's screaming, but can we just start? Like, do I really have to wait for somebody else to join me? Are you going to join me? No. I'm such a loser. Look at me. I'm just awkwardly standing here waiting for somebody to join my apple bobbing contest. Okay. Yeah. Nope. She gave up. She's like, eh, nobody wants to do it with me. Can I do this to somebody? Like, uh, remote viewing, genius IQ, find a test subject. Uh, observe personality programming on... Let's do this to, uh, who is here? I don't know. Let's do it to this person. I have no idea who she is. There she is. I don't, I've never talked to her. We're not friends. So if we mess her up, it's cool because it doesn't matter. We're not friends. So she's the one that's trusting me to do this. It's her fault, right? Okay. I, I have no, I've never used this. I don't know what's actually going to happen. I don't know if this can kill her and like I go to jail for murder or something. That's not a thing, but, um. And I'm glad it's not. That'd be awful. Uh, receive a text message. Harold, are you kidding me? Leave me alone. I am performing some type of brain craziness over here. And you're still texting me about a party that I told you I didn't want to go to. Leave me alone. What is happening over here? Why is the bathroom flooded? There's nothing going. There's nothing wrong with this. Oh, I can change her traits. You know how useful that is? Like, let's not make her grumpy. Wait, natural cook? Did just add that on itself? We need a natural cook up in here. Snob. Um, she's terrified of swimming? No, we can't 
do that. Okay, so let's make her, I don't care if she likes kids or not, I'm ha not having kids with her. Let's make her a natural cook because we need a natural cook in this house, seriously. Um, let's make her, uh, uh, I don't know, friendly? I guess we want a friendly roommate. I mean, that's good, right? A lot of this stuff doesn't really matter to us. Um, let's make her hot-headed, actually. Can she be friendly and hot-headed at the same time? I really feel like it might be interesting if uh, inappropriate. Let's make her inappropriate. That's hilarious. Hot-headed and inappropriate. First name. Okay. I don't need to change her name. She's got a fine name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but nothing wrong with her name. Success? I successfully changed her traits. What if I changed everybody in the house's traits to, like, something awful? Like, everybody's angry all the time and everybody fights? That would be so dramaful. Everybody would be fighting all the time. That might be a little bit annoying, but it'd still be kind of interesting. Oh, is the toilet broke? I'm not used to it, like, not squirting everywhere whenever it's broke. So, I just didn't know that it was actually broke. So, um, ye or yay or whatever your name is, are you going to come in here and cook us some food because you're the good cook now? So, you should be doing that, right? Let's make some tofu dogs. What are you eating? Waffles? For supper? You're amazing. Ooh, skill three. Yeah, we're becoming good cooks. That's something we need to do so we can be cooking all day so we actually have some good food in this house to eat, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we, uh, we, we're gonna eat because she's hungry, but then we are going to have some fun over here because why is nobody in here? She's eating a snow cone, but nobody's, nobody's in here. What's the matter with everybody? We just got all this new stuff and you're just hanging out in there. Look at this big old TV that we just got. It's beautiful. I guess it's not that much bigger than that one, but it's on the wall. Ooh, futuristic. No? Okay. Um, eat your dang tofu dog and get your butt in here. It's 7.30. It's almost bedtime. You gotta find something fun to do. I can't join you. I can only watch you. Whoa. What in the world? Was that supposed to happen? That gnome just appeared on the pool table. Is he like a good luck gnome? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let's just play one of these games. Longhorns and laser beams. Fire in the skies. I don't know. Let's just play one. Stop doing the dishes. That's not your job. We've got a maid. What's this? What's this? What's this? Grade slipping. I've not been devoted to my studies. And I'm stressing over my failing grades. I, thank you very much, have a C. So, I'm passing. Sorry about it. I'm not sorry about it, actually. I'm passing, so just leave me alone. Throw a bonfire. Ooh, guys. Let's go out here and ice skate. Yeah, let's go ice skate. We've not done that, and it's the middle of winter, and the weather says for as long as it can see that it's going to be snowing for the rest of our lives, essentially. Probably snowing for the rest of the time that we're in school for this term. But we're just going to sign back up again. I have no idea how many terms it actually takes to get your degree. But we're going to get our degree. Even if it takes the rest of our lives. I did notice something that I didn't know before. That they don't age up in university. I did not know that. That logically makes no sense. That, that like they spend probably a month in university total if each term is about a week long and I think they do like four terms at least so it kind of makes no sense that they don't age up at all I feel like maybe the age progression should be like really slow but I feel like they should still age up I mean it's not like their life is on pause they should be getting older it's just strange I don't know but I just realized that and I thought it was very strange so is our aspiration really be, to be a heartbreaker? Like, what was I thinking? We don't want to be a heartbreaker. Harold, <laughs> leave me alone. This guy, why did somebody take off their clothes in here? Like, it is a party room, but come on, guys. I really want to bob for apples. Why is nobody bobbing for apples with me? It's really late. She needs to go to sleep. She's getting tired. But let's let's try to bob for apples one more time, see if somebody will join us. Can I ask somebody to join? Uh, ask to join. I can. Okay. Let's ask everybody to join. Come on. 
Come join! I think that's everybody that's here anyways. Are they actually gonna join? You're gonna come with me? Are you gonna do it? <gasps> I think she's gonna do it. <gasps> Thank you so much! This is so exciting! Is everybody gonna do it? Everybody's like, sure. We'll bob for apples at 11 o'clock at night. Let's do it. <laughs> sure. This is great. I'm making some friends. Riley and Ashley. I like your names. Pretty. Um, are we going to start now? Can we start? Oh, she's she's going to the potty. Um, oh, we're starting. Starting without you. Sorry. This is kind of weird. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're literally all performing the exact same action. How do you know who's going to win? Like, I've gotten one. I've not seen anybody else throw any apples. On. Okay, Ashley just threw one. Who's winning? Come on. Come on. You got this, Rain. Oh, Ashley's right next to me. Oh, no. It's between me and Ashley now. We both have two apples. Come on, Rain, you got this. <laughs> you got this. This is so weird. I wonder who came up with this. Oh no, Ashley took the lead. Rain. Come on. Uh, I think we're gonna lose. Oh, she's finally catching up. I'm sucking really bad right now. Oh no, Ashley's in the lead. I think she won. Everybody's like super tired. Is it not going to tell me who won? Like, nobody even cares right now? Okay. So, let's go back to sleep. And by back to sleep, I mean just go to sleep. Oh, that's a lot of clothes. Did you see that? I think everybody's clothes just ended up in her hamper. That was weird. Is everybody already sleeping? Am I the last one to go to bed? What is under her bed? Oh, that's the painting thing. I, th I thought for a second there's like going to be a monster under her bed. I've been playing a lot of The Sims 4. Too many monsters. I don't know if you actually get monsters under the bed whenever you're, like, an adult, though. So, that might not be a fear that we need to have. So, she's taking a bath at 3 a.m. She's going to be exhausted for school tomorrow. I wish that we could, like, pick our school hours, because I would definitely not to choose not to, ch 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 not choose to uh, start school at 8 a.m. I would probably pick, like, noon, so she'd just stay up all night and then sleep throughout the day. Like, I feel like, realistically, that's something that college students probably do. Some college students. I know that some are very, you know, college-y, but... Okay, let's go have some cereal before they force you off to school. And they've already forced you. So sorry. You're not going to be able to eat. That kind of sucks. Like, her, her class starts at 8, and she wakes up at 6, and, like, literally the second she wakes up, they're like, okay, school, and she doesn't get to eat or anything. We just start making her to go, go to bed earlier so she can get up at, like, 5, so she can at least eat. That's kind of ridiculous. There's so many clothes. Is our maid ever going to show up? Because everybody's just taking their clothes off all over the house. And it's a huge mess. Somebody's sleeping in the igloo again. I feel so bad for whoever keeps doing that. Because I feel like they're kind of stupid. And they're just like, oh, here's somewhere to sleep. I am registering this as a bed. And so they're just going outside and sleeping. I don't know what the heck. It's probably that, uh... Meredith girl. <laughs> Her name's not Meredith. Samantha. Let's find out. Samantha, wake up. It's time for school. It's Ashley. <gasps> and she's so sad. Oh no. Why is she crying? I mean, she won the apple bobbing contest. She should be a happy camper. Okay. Our maid still hasn't shown up. It's already 9 o'clock. There are three is a crowd for romance. You'd have to dial it down to make it a regular group. Do you want to do so? Uh... What is happening? <laughs> uh, is Jeffrey in my class or something? Is that what? they're making us having class outside and it's freezing cold? Hold on, this is not like a group. I'm with Samantha. I don't understand. This is not a group like interaction. This is class. Why does it show up like we're having a hangout? I guess she must be flirting with him or something. 
Because I think whenever you're hanging out with somebody and then like somebody else starts flirting with somebody, it tries to make it like a date, but then you have that third person, so it's just like really awkward and it's like, uh, you know, quit it. You can't have a three person date. But she is about to come home anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. I don't know why it says that they're hanging out because they're not. I suppose they just started talking and the game was like, oh, you're hanging out. Okay, cool. No, not really. Okay, let's go home and eat. Let's just have leftovers, hot dogs. I made some hot dogs a while ago, so we'll just eat those. As a scientist, Rain receives performance and salary bonuses to science and medical careers and could start her career at a higher level than normal. Higher than normal level. I'm not a scientist, though. I don't want to be a scientist. I want to be a doctor. You know? Let's make her go home and eat. She's hungry. And... Then we're going to call a repair technician so we can get this, uh... What is she... Is she walking? No. I was about to say, she's taking a really long time to get home. What is she doing? What is that? Collect. I don't know what that is. That's strange. Oh, there's the maid. Ah. Uh, okay, Bertha. Why are you showing up, showing up so late? That's not your name. Helen, that's even better. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. Helen, why are you showing up for work so late? Gosh, I expect her to come home to a clean house. I think they're supposed to show up in the morning, aren't they? That's kind of weird. She's a slacker. Alright, let's eat our lunch. And then we're going to call a repair technician unless our maid knows. Why does she keep doing that? She's so weird. She just does that all the time in front of there. Strange. I don't know. So, let's call this repair technician and then use the bathroom. Like, just leave it in there for him. Sorry. Now, let's go upstairs and uh, take a bath. Because we need to take a bath. We're getting kind of stinky. We should really have a shower in here. Oh, she's painting. That's cute. I didn't know anybody actually painted. I've never seen anybody use it. So, we've not seen Jeffrey in a while. Like, I really feel like he just kind of doesn't call anymore. You know, I just noticed we've not gotten all those notifications, so... What's wrong? You can't do the laundry? Why? Why is it so dark down here? I don't understand why she can't do the laundry. No, don't play on the computer. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, she's gonna puke all over the laundry. <laughs> That's not good. Let's call Jeffrey. Let's find out what Jeffrey's doing. Jeffrey, uh, make exam cheat sheet. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like fun. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Oh my gosh. Can I? Am I making it on my phone? I'm just making a cheat sheet on my phone. Okay. Why does she keep doing that? She just puts it down to pick it back up. I'm very confused. What is she doing? Is she upset because she can't get into my room? My room's clean. You don't need to get any laundry. Well, I guess I'll have to do my own laundry. Because my door is locked. Nobody allowed. And if you come in somehow, if you glitch out and you come into my room, then, uh, just gonna have to kill you. Sorry. Let's see. I feel like this is a weird glitch. Like, because just a second ago, the house was a mess. And then she's like, bye. And everything just kind of disappeared. I mean, I'm cool with it. The house is clean. I'm paying her, whatever. But it's just kind of weird. Okay. Well, what is she doing? She's playing catch with somebody. We're just playing catch right here? Oh, okay. Well, we're making friends. That's awesome. I liked her to begin with. She's, like, really cool. And I wanted to be her friend. So we're just going to be her friend. Remember in the last episode, I told you we was going to find a good friend. And now we found one. Special good sense of humor. Let's uh, tell funny stories. She's going to love us. We're going to be good friends. Talk about cats. That is the best discussion to ever have. Let's talk about these cats. Can we get a cat in college? 
No. I feel like that that's not a thing because I feel like the cat would probably become a household member of the actual like sorority so you couldn't take it home and I definitely would not want to get a cat and leave it at university. I would feel extremely bad. Yeah, I don't think that's even an option. Let's let's go check the weather. See if we have any clear skies anytime soon. Probably not. I love her computer. It's so pretty. It's purple. My favorite color. Oh my gosh, look at all the snow. It's going to snow all weekend. A low of seven? And then it's going to rain for the rest? Oh my goodness. I feel like, I don't know if this is two terms or one term, but regardless, I really feel like it's going to snow the whole time she's at university this time. That kind of sucks. Play catch. She really wants to play catch. What is she doing? Where'd she go? She wants to play catch with Samantha. I mean, that's cool. Whatever. Go play catch. Although, I really feel like uh, you should probably call your boyfriend because you haven't seen him in like two days. Uh, I guess that's not that long, but it, feel, it feels long because I don't think we've seen him in this episode at all. So it just feels like it's been weeks. Let's see how close they are now. Let's see. We are friends. We can see all of her traits. Wow, we don't even know our boyfriend's traits. How did we get her traits so fast? She's rich too. Is everybody I know rich? That's really cool. Uh, Aquarius. Ooh. She's unemployed, no partner. She's absent minded. That's cool. Good sense of humor. Cool. Slob. I don't mind. Friendly, artistic, handy. Girl, if you're handy, why are you not fixing everything in the house? Like, the toilets keep breaking. You could have fixed them. It's kind of rude of you to not fix things that you probably broke. Just saying. Okay. Uh, ooh, who was that? Look at her hair. Is she our roommate? We're friends with her. I don't even remember her. Her hair looks amazing. And I'm saying that because my hair is like the same color. <laughs> I love that so much. It's cool. I didn't, actually, I didn't even realize that you could have crazy colored hair. Not saying it's crazy. Just you know, unique colored hair. I can't remember the word that they use for it. Whatever. Not, uh, at, not, uh, I don't know. Whatever, whatever. So she's not broke out into any fights with anybody, which is surprising because I feel like we gave her some pretty bad traits, and that's a little bit disappointing. Let's go eat something, uh, eat leftovers, go eat some waffles. It's starting to get late, it's supper time, and you're very tired for some reason. Not like you've been actually doing anything productive. And she's bored. How is she bored? We just bought thousand dollars worth of fun stuff in the house and she's bored. I love the way that these windows frost over. I think that's so pretty. That's such like a small touch to like the graphics, the details that I just love so much. Where'd all the apples go? What happened? Is this a thing? You actually have to like refill it or is this a glitch? I didn't know that it th I've never seen it look like that before. That's strange. All right, um, it's time for bed. She's exhausted. It gets only eight o'clock, but look at her energy. She's like really low. I don't want her to pass out. I do want her to get plenty of sleep though. I'm getting sleepy, I should head home. But I thought that you lived here. I'm confused. I thought that she is, she's right there. She just told me she had to head home, but we live in the same place. I don't know. Weird glitch. Whatever. But I think I'm going to end this episode here. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this new room edition that I added that really should have been here in the very first place. I suppose um, they're just like being a bit, I don't know, sexist or something whenever they designed this sorority house, assuming that girls don't like to play games. But I'm going to prove you wrong because I just put all of these games up in here, all these video games, and we're just going to have a blast with them. We're going to throw a party and just everybody's just going to do nothing but play video games. That sounds like a lot of fun in real life. I wish that I had a whole bunch of friends that all play video games because I would have a video game party. That sounds really cool. But I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Hit that thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!